Good morning, YouTube. How are you this morning? Whew. I'm a bit on the damp side. Uh, it is about 11 a.m. Central Time, and I am in Colleen, Texas, at the Home Depot on I-14, or US-190, depending on how you want to look at it. Um, let's see. Talk last night. What was I doing last night? I was unloading at the second stop, I think. Yeah. I got down there, headed back. I got back to uh, from Waco to Grand Prairie. I guess I got there about uh, 7.30. And uh, luckily for me, my wife wasn't away from home. I had meant to say yesterday in the video that I was either gonna have her do it or I was gonna call Uber or Lyft, whichever was cheaper to drive me over. Well, she didn't have a scout. Well, she had a scout meeting, but she didn't go for whatever reason. So she came down and picked me up a little bit before eight. We went and got my pickup truck over to Tomic and went home. Uh, got home about, I guess it was 8.45 maybe? No, about 9.15, excuse me. Yeah, about 9.15. And uh, I took a shower, watched the news, and went to bed. That's all she wrote. Um, I just didn't care about doing anything. There's a couple things I want to do, but I haven't gotten home early enough to do them. Um, Luckily for me, they did not call me at 4 a.m. this morning. Thank the Lord. But uh, my alarm went off at 5. And I should have got up, but I didn't. I got up at 5.30. Took a shower. No, I didn't. I didn't take a shower this morning. Because I took one last night. Got in the truck and left. I got to the yard about, uh, I guess it was about 5 minutes to 6. Got my paperwork just as it started to rain. We had a line, a couple of lines of thunderstorms moved through this morning in DFW that uh, were hell. I mean hell, with lots of hail too. And uh, luckily for me, this load was already secured and tarped pretty good. I had to adjust it some, but I got soaked in the process. And uh, started heading down here a little after 7 and uh, ran through storms until I got past walks of hatching. And then... Uh, it looks like she's done. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. She's a lot faster than I thought she was going to be. Um, so I had to start. I started heading on. I stopped in uh, Italy to get a breakfast sandwich and then uh, do a load check and then headed on down here. I got here at 10:15 and it took me about 35 minutes to get the tarp and straps off and get them all put away. That's not too bad. It is really muggy here. It's about 80 degrees already. And the humidity is well over 80%, 80, 85%. But the cold front hasn't gotten this far yet. And I'm not sure if they're going to get any storms or not or what. But uh, I, uh, in my effort to talk about something else other than just this, I want to say something to everybody. Whether you're a truck driver or you just drive a car or whatever. Almost every state has a law that says... When wipers are required, turn on your lights. Period. I saw more people driving this morning, and I see it all the time, driving down roads, highways, whatever, torrential downpour, no lights on. How the hell are you supposed to see somebody when it's that dark and it's raining? It's ridiculous. Turn your lights on, people. And if you want to be super safe, like I always tell you, be safe. Drive with your lights on, not just your headlights, all your lights on, anytime the vehicle is moving, period. You'll see a lot of trucks, okay, driving down the road, get all their lights on. Where you go, a lot of people go, well, I have daytime running lights. That's not enough. Just go ahead and flip the switch. Most cars nowadays, if you turn the lights on, you can just leave them on all the time. Even when you turn the car off, it'll take about a minute, maybe 30 seconds, and then it'll turn your lights off because the engine's not running. Unless you tell it. Because they all have auto. It's just one of those things. Safety, people. Safety. And don't, when it's torrential downpour, don't be doing the speed limit. Slow down. It's been, there's been several studies recently that showed that a majority of vehicle accidents involving trucks are not the fault of the truck driver. Over 
85% of national highway accidents involving trucks are the fault of the car or other vehicle that the truck was involved in. How hard is it? Just to be safe while you're going down the road. That includes don't text and drive, get off Facebook, turn your phone off. You know, I'm always telling people, put your phone away. You see them driving down the highway like this all the time. I saw somebody this morning in the rain, torrential downpour, they're driving down the road in a black charger with no lights on and got their phone in their face. Doing 65 down the interstate. Surprised they're not dead. It'll happen. Okay, well, she's done, so I'm going to send my empty call that I got to head back to Grand Prairie to pick up my next load, which is going to the Garland Road store in Dallas. That's off of... Uh, I-635 and Garland Road right there and on off of Northwest Highway. So now that I got myself all riled up about the lights and safe driving again, because it's just one of my pet peeves. Think about it. I got over one and a half million safe miles on the road. Never an accident. That's in a truck. And in my lifetime, my lifetime, I've had one at fault accident while driving. And I was 16. And I've been had driving by myself for a week. Okay. And that and that was considered out because I was going too fast on a wet road and my brakes failed. I've never done it again. So get off my soapbox. I'll see y'all in a little while. Good afternoon, YouTube. How are you this afternoon? I'm pretty good. It's nice and cool outside after the cold front came through. Um, it is 4 o'clock Central Time, and I am in Dallas, Texas at the White Rock Home Depot on Garland Road. Um, let's see. Uh, after I left there, up, up down there in Colleen, I headed back, and just as I was crossing the, into uh, the northern part of Waco, uh, the wind shifted from the front and uh, it's blowing out of the north at about 35 miles an hour So that slowed me down some I got up to the DC I think at 2 or 215 or something like that Went and dropped that trailer picked up my bills and then went and got the other trailer um, It was secured actually pretty good this time. There's only one mistake um, so I got it all tightened down, fixed the mistakes, and then uh, the mistake, and then added some more straps that I wanted to do. And then uh, they had put a tarp on top to have it tarp, but I just got rid of that. Um, didn't need to be tarped because it's not raining, because they were already collecting the tarps off the loads anyway. Uh, flew on over here. It was about 30 miles or so, though they only pay like 12 miles. It's ridiculous. You could have done it in 12 miles. It would take an hour and a half to get here. Uh, come down 30 and come up 78 to get over here the mileages are really really messed up on the on these loads um and uh got here and uh had to go find the receiver to check in she didn't seem too happy to see me her first comment was we've already gotten a truck today it's like that's my fault you know and then she i gotta find somebody to you know, not a very happy camper at this particular store. Maybe she's just overworked that. But uh, the unloader is out there unloading right now and he is about, uh, he is almost done. And then I'll be getting out of here. Um, heading over to Gaff on Singleton to uh, to load and uh, pick up some shingles and then take those over to the DC. It's, uh, like I said, it's uh, four o'clock, so it'll be 4.30, 4.45 before I get over there because of traffic. Hopefully they'll load me, because I'm only three hours late for the appointment as it is right now. I thought I was going to be only doing two today, but they gave me this backhaul as well. So I'm hoping that they load the load. So um, once that's done, I'm going to go home. Hopefully I can get home by 7 p.m. I'm not holding out hope, though. So kind of a kind of one of those days. It's a good day, except for the weather. And... Uh, kind of I'm making money I know that much just kind of I got to get in the groove of this place so that's it for today until we talk tomorrow remember to keep your lights on when it's raining and keep the shiny side up 73s be safe